Now that we have joined our clean inflow and outflow worksheets, we can go ahead and continue to further transform our data by computing net inflows or outflows by our variables of interest, in this case returns, exemptions, or number of people, and AGI by state. Returning to the preparation menu, we're going to find the formula tool, which is situated right next to the filter tool. If you go ahead and select that and drag it onto your canvas, make sure that it joins to the J output anchor for the join tool. Once we've gotten the formula tool onto our canvas, we can go ahead and configure our tool. In this case, we're going to tell the formula tool what it is that we'd like them to calculate. Before we do so, first we need to select the column where the new formula is going to be reported. If we click on the drop down menu, we could either select a pre existing column or we could add a column. If you select a pre existing column, then you're telling Alteryx to overwrite the data in that column with the formula that you put in the canvas below. Go ahead and click on Add Column, and once you do so, you'll see that your cursor is going to blink inside the Add Column box. This is waiting for you to type in a name for your formula. If you've already clicked elsewhere, don't worry. Just simply click back in the box to name the new column. We're going to start by computing the net number of returns for 1516. This is the first time in the header row that we're using the year designation. And the reason for that is because eventually we're going to combine these net numbers with all of the net numbers from all of the years of the data. So we want to be able to identify which year this net number of returns came from. To actually enter the formula, we could either click in the blank space in the formula box, or we can use the preset formula functions found on the left-hand side menu. The first function is a formula function, and it has preset formulas categorized by various types, either conditional, whether it's date or time, finance, math, so on and so forth. The next, pre, the next shortcut menu brings you to just the columns that you have in your data set. Here, since we're computing the net number of returns, we can go ahead and select the number of returns inflow, hit the dash or minus key, and then click back on that X to select out the net number of returns for the outflow. We now have a formula in. It shows us that what the first value is going to be in the data preview. But before we move off of this formula, we want to make sure that it's characterized appropriately. Right now, we've subtracted a number from a number, but the data type is listed as variable width string. We need to select the down menu to change that to be double, since the subtraction of a number from a number is going to result in a number. It's our first formula. The second formula can be added by clicking on the plus bottom and then repeating the process. So we will go ahead and add a column. We will type in net number of exemptions. 1516. And this time I'll demonstrate how we could put the formula directly in there using the blank space within the formula box. So if I just start typing with the pound or hashtag, then I can go ahead and select only from the variables that have the pound or hashtag in front of it. And in this case, I'm going to get the number of exemptions inflow minus the number of exemptions outflow. Again, I want to make sure that I put my double, my data type as double. We're going to add a third formula. In this case, we're going to compute the net AGI. I'm not going to put the year on it just yet because we're going to add a fourth formula. I will again demonstrate this formula using the shortcut menu on the side. So I'll go ahead and click here. And I will select the AGI inflow from the list of columns available. And then I'll click again on the X and find the AGI outflow. Finally, I will go ahead and change the data type to double. The last formula is not necessary, but it could help you as you're trying to interpret the value of the migration data for your policymaker. In particular, the AGIs are reported in thousands of dollars, as we found out from the Excel spreadsheet. So in order to convert this so that we can just interpret it based on a dollars level, we can go ahead and do one more formula. In this case, we're going to add our fourth column, and we'll call this formula net AGI 1516. 
and we will go ahead and demonstrate using the blank space within the formula box, typing in net to find the net AGI that we just computed, and then multiplying that by a thousand. Make sure you change the data type to double. And we're done entering in all of our formulas. So we can go ahead and run that tool. What we see when we click on the output anchor is that we have our data set with all of our newly computed variables for each of the states within this year. Now that we've completed our formulas, we can go ahead and clean up the data set a little bit more so that we only keep certain fields or certain columns so that we can combine as minimal amount of information as possible when we start putting all of the years together. To do this, we're again going to use the select tool. So go ahead and grab that off and bring it onto your canvas, attaching it to the formula tool. And here, what we need to keep are basically the net numbers with the years attached to them. So go ahead and uncheck unknown net AGI, and then all of the numbers that came directly from the inflow and outflow field. We can retain our identifier field so that we know when we combine this data set that we have a uniform combination definition. Once we get that, go ahead and click on run. And what we have as a result of this is a very cleaned up data set that's ready for some analysis. The final step then would be to replicate this process for all of the other years. To make this step easier, go ahead and find some blank space above both of your existing containers. Click once, drag over both of these containers and across until you capture all of your tools. This may be very hard depending on how your mouse and window looks. Once you have everything selected, go ahead and hover over one of your tools and then add that to a new container. We can title this container 1516 Combined Inflow Outflow.